Okay, now I have to stir in sparkling wine and grape juice. Grape juice too? Yeah. You don't have it? I pour juice. yourself about Europe, about food and wine. Oh yeah, we did wine down square. We did. And then she moved, we met in Philadelphia, and then she moved all the way to Chicago. And I So she's holding the fort down in Philly. So today she's helping me with cooking. I'm late per usual. Uh, we have two hours and 15 minutes before our audience is coming. Oh yeah. So we have the following six, yes, you heard me right, six dishes we're gonna make. So. First of all, butternut squash. And we're also gonna have prosciutto prosciutto. Mm -hmm. So it's an Italian with a little bit of ham involved. Then we also have jello champagne shots with uh, raw raspberry. Yeah. What else do we have? And then for our main courses, we have lamb chops, we have um, horse, because I love that so much. Uh, <laughs> sweet potato, casserole, mm. and then for dessert we're gonna have, do you know, remember? You never had it before? Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Yeah. So, yeah, it sounds like Mission Impossible, but that's like a good challenge. I'm yeah, gonna get it done. I'm gonna be <laughs> helping. Oh, and the great part about the bread pudding has some rum in it, so a little kick. Here we, we go. go. <laughs> try this when you're baking stuff. Baking is like science, stick to the measurements, mm -hmm. don't ever mess up there. Cooking, you can do a flavor taste, sometimes make it a little thicker or watery. So with this, I can use coconut milk, but I'm also gonna use some coconut cream to make it a little thicker. So instead of using heavy cream, I do coconut milk. Um, I spice it up a little bit with cayenne pepper and my secret ingredient for almost everything is honey. Oh, yeah. Now the beauty of the soup is you dump all the ingredients in. Sometimes it has more preparation time. I even um, put this in the oven for an, an hour and put some... Uh, <laughs> so, these are butternut squash. So depending if how much time you have, typically when I get um, cut butternut squash up myself, mm -hmm. I put it for two hours in the oven. I put some uh, honey and some cinnamon over it and then it gets a little softer. Okay. But once it, you actually cook it and starts boiling, you can also just make the same uh, ingredients. Just throw it in a uh, pot because we're gonna uh, blend, it, blend it when it's done. So. Mm. cook with salt, so mm -hmm. that way you don't have to use a lot of salt to still have the flavor coming through. Alright, everybody should have this in their house, it's garlic. It's freshly cut and it's quick. Okay. So, one thing I tend to do if I season is put some, I love this butter, it's Irish butter. I'm very sad when it comes to my butter, it needs to be the right. <laughs> so. Okay. And so my piece. <laughs> Let me put this down. So one of the steps didn't work out. So I'm about to freeze a bowl. <laughs> How long should I freeze the bowl for? About four minutes. I'm gonna freeze so the bowl thing, for four minutes. Mm -hmm. That's Shantae is not telling you is that I don't have all the cooking stuff, so I improvise <laughs> wherever, whenever. Which makes me nervous because I like to follow every procedure. Huh? 
because huh, when it doesn't remind me of because when every it, person that has a JD, <laughs> yeah. let's let's just you know follow every single step of the book because because when it don't come out right, I can blame the procedure uh -huh. versus it being my fault for modifying something. And I don't like to do things over again because I don't. Creativity, no creativity. I have creativity. Hence this video. I have creativity. However. I don't like to repeat things, so if it comes out wrong, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Laptop. Where are we going with these? All right, we're in the oven, 425 Ooh. for about 20 minutes, and then every and I'm gonna slow cook them then after that, so I can also start making my bread pudding. Mm -hmm. Ladies, take it easy. <laughs> no, I get it round. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Prosciutto and so again, it's dried. If you want to go for the cheaper version, I love Trader Joe's for their spices. Mm -hmm. Although always read what's in the back, but in this case, it's just Joe basil. And basil doesn't have to be organic. Like, let me be very clear, guys. Like, lots of flavors. It's just a cheaper version of it, and what that means is that it is still organically grown. Like, you don't need to have organic fruits, etc. Yeah. The official way to always check your meats is to have one of those clocks or the temperature measurements mm -hmm. that you can stick in the middle of the meat. You somewhere. have one? I don't. <laughs> but, you know, you can do good old. Let's look. Ooh, that looks so good. So one way, I always have one test meat, which is my meat or the cook's mm -hmm. meat. Again, this is not how we're supposed to do it. Yeah, it looks yeah, I know. so good. Mm. Yeah. And that will indicate where it is. So right now, this is still about medium rare. Okay. It's bloody. It is cooked on the outside, so that means it's not just rare. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, you see the red. This is not medium yet. So typically medium, um, there's no blood running anymore. Right. You still see red, but there's no blood running when mm -hmm. it's blood. As you can see, it's pouring out here a little bit. Mm -hmm. So still medium. Yeah, everything past medium, you're just burning the meat. Yeah. Having said that, a lot of times in so African it's not cultures, flavorful, right? It's it's the the meat becomes um, tough. To mm. chew, right, so you take the tenderness out of it, the the, the moisture, as we. I just call want it. it as less pink as possible. But here's the thing, right? And that's in African culture, African American cultures, and many cultures across the world. Okay. We want to make sure that the meat is well cooked, right? Because right. especially, you know, unfortunately with slavery and stuff like that, we got like the worst of the worst meats. Yeah. So we want to make sure it was well cooked, no bacteria were in there, etc. So the whole notion of make sure it's cooked. Thoroughly, yeah. This comes from like, let's make sure our, you know, this, the the rest pieces we're getting, yeah, is not gonna kill us. Okay. But now it's like all the way over into our culture where I'm like, you're missing part of the brain. Hey guys. <laughs> 
it's um, this one takes an hour and a half. Um, what are you making? Right now, I am making my um, I'm right. making wrap pudding. I have about an hour left technically when my guests come. But here's the beauty of it: when they come in, they have Shantae's lovely flutes, the prosciutto, which prosciutto. Uh -huh. and, and by the time they have two minutes left yet, on the I should have enough time to be done with my sweet potatoes. The lamb's are already going to be ready by then. So, and then, you know, this is going to, the bread pudding is a little longer, but guess what? We're still eating, so. All right. That's that the bread pudding? Yep. Is that done? Nope, not yet. So okay. what we have to add to this is see right now it's sitting in the rum and the milk and soaking okay, everything soaking. up. Mm -hmm. And then after 30 minutes we're going to put this in a, or 20 more minutes, we're going to put it in a, um, another, what do you call it? In a pan so it can stick in the oven for 15 minutes and it will be okay. baking. This is our butternut squash soup. And it's almost done? It's almost done. So what it happened, so as you can see it's still like, you know, um, cooking and then we have to put it and um, blend it okay so and then we have this in uh, here i don't know if it's gonna open it that look not yet no not yet not so, so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause it here and then once we're done i'm gonna show you the finished product sounds like a plan shadow yeah Broiler. 